Hi K1, this is our weekly letter. Um, I'm pretty excited about it because it was fun to write this week. So let's read our letter together. Dear K1, this weekend I played a new game called Pig Mania. It was so fun. I liked it because it is silly and cute. What is a game you like to play? Why do you like it? Love, Teacher Trisha. Take a minute to think about the questions that I asked in the letter. If you think you know what one of those questions are, go ahead and call my phone. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, uh, hello? Yeah, that is one of the questions. Okay, so the first caller said that the first question was, what was a game that you like to play? And now, because we've been doing some opinion writing, I want you to tell me why do you like it? So now I want you to think about how we've been doing our opinion writing, um, where we give our opinion and then we say a reason why. That will answer both of the questions that I asked in our letter. So when we start our letter, it's always going to have uh, some, you're addressing it to somebody. So telling somebody that you're writing it. So I'm going to write, dear, okay. And when we wrote our opinions, we always said what it was. So we're talking about a game that we like. We're going to use a complete sentence. I'm not going to just write, Monopoly. Because that's not a complete sentence. It doesn't tell me what your opinion is. It doesn't tell me anything about Monopoly. Okay? So instead, I'll give you a sentence frame to help you. We can write, I like the game. Mm. And then like in my letter, I'm going to give a reason why I liked it. In my letter, I liked the game because it was fun. Um, it was silly and it was cute. So I could write, I like it because Okay. If you would like a spicy challenge, you can try giving me more than one reason. So you could say, I like it because mm, and mm. and then don't forget to sign your letter so I know who wrote it. Okay. I would also love if you could draw a picture of the game. That would be pretty fun. Um, there is actually a pig on the box of this game that I think is very cute. I'm going to try drawing it now. It's very chubby. It's pretty silly. It was a silly game. If you have ever played this game before, you can touch your nose. Oh, and we can't forget the curly pig tail. Can you see the pig there? Here's its little nose, its eyes, its ears, its little feet, and of course the little pig tail. So if you're curious about the game, the game that I played was called Pig Mania. And there's actually these little rubber piggies in there. And you roll them like dice. But instead of numbers to tell you the points that you get, there's two of them. You get points based on how the pigs land. So if the pigs land, upside down like that you might get a certain amount of points if one lands on its side and one lands upside down you get a different number of points 
So it's pretty fun because it's very different. You don't have to use dice or cards. You just use these little rubber pigs and you roll them like dice. Thanks for joining me on our weekly letter and I can't wait to read your responses.